When we design, we look at the site, we feel the surrounding, we understand the challenges of the site. As a designer, you must have a vision of the thing that you want to create in this development. My name is Kok Tai. I'm from ADDP Architects, the architect for Sinica. When we first appointed architects for the project, we realised that Tanah Merah itself means Red Cliff in Malay. And in the early days, if you are uh, taking a boat, you can actually see the Red Cliff uh, around this area. That's why we take strong inspiration from that concept and reinterpret it in our own design so that the earth tone, the facade, the way the building is being put, the connectivity that's being connected is how the concept comes about in relation to the site context. The design now basically is two residential blocks pushed all the way at the back away from the MRT line with a lot of community space on the ground floor. If you are staying in this development, you can come down from the MRT uh, covered linkway, even rain or shine, walk into your retail commercial area, you can buy your grocery, you can buy food, and then after that you can take the lift up right into your residential unit, seamless connectivity. The beauty is that the moment you take your lift and go up to your residential, you are basically on your own private uh, zone. You will not hear any of the sound below, you will be in your own sanctuary, facilities, your clubhouse, swimming pool, and I think that's the beauty of that. The idea of placemaking is actually a design process to give quality public space for public to live and also to, to play. We envision that people from further down will come down to Seneca for their daily use of groceries, their needs. We are not only looking at the community within the Taname area, we are actually connecting the community outside the Taname area. So this is actually part of the bigger concept that we are looking at.